Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 21st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for joining us in a week where the Muni primary market finally came back to life. What did you see? Thanks, Mike. Yeah, we were uh, back in full swing on the uh, supply side with a uh, 10 plus billion dollar week on the uh, new issue front. That's the first time we've seen over 10 billion since the middle of August. Uh, so it certainly felt uh, heavier than we've been seeing, uh, you know, until uh, for the most of this fall, seven to nine billion was really the uh, the heavier weeks, if you want to call it that, with a lot of the uh, two to four billion weeks uh, sprinkled in between. So at over 10 billion, uh, it was certainly a lot of bonds for the market to chew through. Uh, in, in terms of backdrop on the rate side, Treasury market really sold off pretty steadily all week long. Uh, Ten-year increased by about 20 basis points over the week, um, currently at around a 420, 421. And the 30-year Treasury increased by uh, about 30 basis points, hitting uh, around a 433 as we're, as we're recording this video. Um, with that said, for the most part, Muni's uh, outperformed a lot of the week by staying mostly unchanged. Uh, before today, there was really only one to five basis point uh, cuts to the MMD curve, uh, but we really saw a catch up today. They're talking about uh, 10 to 15 basis point adjustments uh, to MMD um, before uh, before the close of business. So, you know, where we saw some outperformance and a little bit of a firmer tone earlier in the week, uh, that certainly uh, kind of caught up um, as uh, as we're closing out uh, as we're closing out the session. Uh, and on the supply side, it really was a mixed bag. Um, you know, I think early in the week, the market was a little bit firmer. Uh, on the muni side, you heard deals uh, like Connecticut special tax, which was uh, about 1.3 billion, uh, you know, doing really well and heavy oversubscription. Uh, and then, you know, just a day later on Wednesday, MassGO, um, which priced over a billion bonds, um, you know, kind of struggled. So, uh, so it really was kind of a, you know, a, a gradual shift as the week went on. And as I said, you know, today, uh, they're really hitting the scale hard um, with uh, with those cuts uh, in MMD. So we'll see rates end the week um, pretty substantially higher around, you know, call it 20 uh, to 20 to 25 basis points. Um, but uh, overall, you know, uh, it did seem like the supply, despite uh, the 11th straight week of muni fund flows uh, being negative at 2.6 billion, taking the year-to-date total to over 103, uh, 103 billion. Um, the, the supply was relatively uh, well digested. Um, and, uh, you know, we're expecting another close to $10 billion week next week. Uh, that's going to be pretty heavily concentrated. You got the likes of uh, a billion three New York City TFAs, a billion two Cal GOs, uh, and 700 million uh, Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority. So, you know, some pretty chunky deals um, at the top of that calendar, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's still another 10 billion to, uh, to contend with. Uh, next week, uh, BAM's got uh, a, a pair of $20 million deals uh, scheduled to price in the market. We've got Cloverleaf School District COPs uh, in Ohio that's going to be priced by RW Baird uh, and Hickman Hills uh, School District in Missouri that's going to be priced by Stiefel. Yeah, thanks. That's a great. And so obviously this uh, this return to heavy supply, heavier supply has been telegraphed for a while. We've been talking about how analysts were still looking forward to a, a pretty uh, robust fourth quarter. One of the things that, that struck me this week was how demand was uh, scattered both across the institutional and the retail sides of the ledger. Uh, some of the retail order periods performed very well. So you did get the sense that investors may have been uh, you know, saving cash looking forward to this return to the market. So uh, that helped uh, things go orderly. Yeah, you know, it's it's really been a mixed bag uh, on the demand side. Uh, you know, feedback has been that uh, the SMA side of the world has continued to have pretty decent um, uh, cash to put to work. Uh, you know, that's certainly uh, we're, we're certainly in a uh, in a yield environment that uh, that investors and in SMAs haven't seen in a while. So munis do look pretty attractive on the individual side. You know the 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 constant talk on the fund side is uh, is all the fund flows um, you know going out, but there is still cash to put to work on reinvestments. So some days are better than others um, on the fund side. They've been managing their uh, their cash positions pretty well. 
And then depending on absolute yields, uh, you know, you do see a mix of, uh, of different types of investors, whether they're relative value accounts, insurance companies, things like that, um, that, uh, you know, that, that, that come and go and, um, you know, you, you find different pockets of demand. But yeah, certainly on the retail side of the aisle, we're in a yield environment that, uh, that we just haven't had for a long, long time. So, uh, you know, it's not surprising to hear over a billion uh, retail orders on a, on a Connecticut um, uh, special tax deal, um, you know, in, uh, in a market like this. And so those are great points, great insights. So another couple of weeks, probably of a uh, of busier activity. Maybe we'll see a downturn as uh, issuers opt to avoid any kind of volatility around the election. We'll see how that plays out uh, later in November. But uh, thanks for being with us here today. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.